What's happening guys? Trey back again here bringing another quick video. So I did a video a little while ago talking about uh, Vitor Balfour against uh, Kung Lee. Did a prediction for that fight and um, it sucks. Uh, Vitor Balfour is injured so we're not going to get to see it. Instead, uh, Vanderlei Silva has decided to take the fight. He's going to step in against uh, Kung Lee and see how he does. Um, should be an interesting fight but uh, I mean after us seeing uh, Vanderlei against uh, Chris Lieben uh, and seeing what happened there um, you know, I really don't know if this is the right matchup for Vanderlei, and the unfortunate part is it doesn't tell us anything about Kung Lee, because even if Kung Lee wins this fight, which he probably will, um, what does that do? I mean, that doesn't show that he's top tier, ready to fight Anderson Silva, that doesn't show that he's, you know, it doesn't really show how good he is, you know, uh, it doesn't really do much for, for us or for him and his status in the UFC. Um... I think we all would kind of want to see a match between Kung and uh, and Anderson Silva, or you know maybe Vitor or you know Chael Sonnen and Brian Stan, some of the top guys at the at the middleweight division. Um, you know Vanderlei at this point, you know he's uh, his best days are behind him, unfortunately. I mean when you lose to Chris Levin, you get knocked out by Chris Levin badly. I mean it's like I don't know, you know they call him Chris the Crippler Levin, but. I mean, come on. I mean, the guy's got pencils for arms, you know. Jeez. Um, he just, I don't know. He's a zombie. You know, he's just a zombie. He puts his arms out, and if you, you know, if you get bit, then that's it. He's a zombie. That's that's what he is. So, you know, you know, Vanderlei, unless he improves or unless he, you know, he's just, he's fought so many times now. I mean, look at the guys from his era that are still around. Look at Fedor and what's happened to him. Look at... I mean, you know, all those guys back from the Pride era, they can't they can't barely compete anymore. Maybe a couple of them can, but, uh, you know, it's hard to say. I mean, granted, he could come out like the very late old and knock out uh, Kung, but his reflexes are probably gone. So, you know, this is kind of a downer for me because it's kind of, a, you know, a guaranteed win for Kung Lee, and it doesn't tell us how good Kung Lee is. So, you know, I guess they're putting on the fight because they want to sell out the place, they want to you know, do it, and uh, Vanderlei does come in swinging, and he's going to do his thing, and uh, probably be a little bit more reserved than he was last time, but I just don't think he has the speed anymore. I don't think he has the reflexes to to fight his style. You know, Vanderlei comes in, he, he's got to change it up. He can't come in and just start swinging and, you know, brawl with guys. He's going to get knocked out. You know, he's been knocked out too many times. His, his uh, reflexes aren't good enough anymore. Um... You know, he's really got to change up his game. He's got to do something. And uh, Kung Lee, you know, is just, he's so dynamic. And uh, he, he's got such a high level of uh, kickboxing that in Muay Thai that I don't know, you know, what Vanderlei is going to do against him. You know, he could, I guess if he's able to keep the distance closer and throw hands, he could he could catch Kung. But that would be the Vanderlei of old. The Van, like The current Vanderlei is in the twilight of his years. You know, he's not... He's not the same he was in Pride. In Pride, oh yeah, he would he would smoke Kung Lee. There's no question about it. But now, I mean, he just lost to Chris Levin, for Christ's sake. Um, so I gotta go with Kung in this fight. I mean, the split is huge. Uh, Kung's probably gonna be like a six to one favorite or something. It'll probably be like you know, I I, I second that. I'd say you know you're looking at like an eighty percent chance for Kung in this fight. A kind of a pointless fight, you know, just put on to make money. I mean, I think that's obvious. Um, but hopefully, you know, after this one, we'll see Kung actually get tested a little bit. Uh, unfortunate, but what are you going to do? It happens. So that's it for now, guys. Let me know what you think about Vanderlei versus Kung Lee. Let me know uh, if you're going to watch it. And, uh, you know, and am I on board here? Do you think I'm, uh, I've got this right? Do you think Vanderlei is pretty much done? Let me know, guys. I'll see you later.